What's up guys, Anthony here from Freelancing Normies and welcome to our very first video of 2024. We've been gone for quite some time. We've been on vacation. I went back to work. We got a little busy. And to start the year, I will be showing to you my 2024 freelance traveling tech bag. All right, so first we have the bag. This is from X Design or not sure if it's X Design or XD Design. I just found it in a store near us. I really like it. It's a 26 liter bag. It can be expanded to 30 liter bag. Everything inside is surprisingly below seven kilograms. So it wouldn't be a problem to hand carry this thing on a plane wherever I want to travel. So first we have the sides. This is where I put my, what do you call this tumbler? All right, we'll call it a jazz. What's this? Flat flask, you know what I mean, whatever. And the other side we have this Anchor Power Brick. It's up to 65 watts type C. It's small and lightweight, perfect for traveling. And we have an Anchor type C to type C cable. This one supports up to 140 watts, but it's perfectly fine to use with this 65 watts and it would max out at 65. Perfect for my devices. I have a lot of type C devices and one lightning device. Well, we'll get onto that later. So first we have the flask, second we have the charger, and that is it for the side pockets. Next we have the back of the bag, we have a secret, well not secret, we have a pocket here at the side. It actually has a zipper. Let me see. It houses this cable. So this one goes inside. You can connect a power bank inside. And I just put a type A to lightning cable here. So if I want to charge my phone and I don't really want to open the bag, I just get it from the side. Uh, does it charge that fast? I think it's only up to 5 watts. but. Should, should be good enough. So for the front, I have clothes. One shorts, one underwear, one long sleeves, and two pairs of shirt. Just put it here on the side. What else do we have here? Next, we have my mouse. This is the Razer Orochi V2. It's super lightweight. It can connect via Bluetooth and a receiver. Yeah, 2.4 gigahertz receiver. It can be used with a AA battery or a AAA battery. And yeah, nothing much to it. It's aside from it being super lightweight, it also lasts for a long time. Especially if I use an energizer battery, it would last more than six months. I only bring this because when I want to play League of Legends on the go, I have this one, but normally I use my laptop without a mouse, so I, I rarely use it. I just put it in my bag though. All right, next we have this. Some flash drives. So one flash drive is for Windows 10 boot drive. Well, uh, a flash drive to format Windows or any window. Anyway, pag nagre-reformat ako, kailangan ko to. So, Windows 10. Uh, next is a Chrome OS. Chrome OX Flex to be specific. I just bring this one around because why not? <laughs> I just want one. And um, the next one, we have a 500 gig flash drive that's USB-A. And if you spin it around, it becomes a USB-C. This is perfect for my Mac because it only has Type-C ports. And just in case, I also have this USB-A to USB-C adapter for data. So I can use most of my drives anywhere. So this is what I meant that it can be expanded. So normally, it looks like this, right? If you want to expand it, unzip this one and get the next zipper, now it's a 30 liter bag. Yeah, black as well. 
<laughs> All right. Next, we have the middle compartment or the middle zipper. Ah. Yeah, middle compartment. All right, we have the middle compartment. First, we have my, what do you call this pouch? I don't have a name for it. You are now called Eddie. So this is Eddie. <laughs> this is where I put all my wires. Female A to C male. Four USB A to C for the microphones that I have in my bag. And a 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, other side, we have my MagSafe charger. So C to MagSafe. This is for my MacBook Air M2. And a C to lightning cable for my phone. Here on the side, we have the Rode Wireless Go 2. As you can see, I'm using one and the other one's in the camera. So there's actually three, but you, see, there, you, you can only see one since we're using the, the rest. And this dead cat. Suit balls. Um, okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> we also have this Lightning to 3.5 if I want to use the Rode Wireless Go 2 on my phone. That is it for Eddie. We'll put him here by Eddie. Next, we have my headphones. This one I rarely use. Anyway, I use this one when I'm on plane rides, which happened quite a lot for the past year. This is the Sony XM5. The noise cancellation on these headsets is well, it's amazing. So yeah, uh, previously, if you've watched my previous tech bag, I have the XM4s. My brother had these XM5s. When he saw that the XM4s can fold, he said if we could swap. So sure. So yeah, so these are my headphones. Uh, next one, we have this collaboration with Coleman and Velbon. This is a mobile tripod. So this is what we usually use for our on-the-go video shoots, blogging, whatnot. Simply push it here below, it opens up, and it has this shutter button. You can also use this for video if you want to start recording if you're a bit far away. And it can be this long. 60... I'll put in the, the height somewhere <laughs> so yeah this is the tripod for mobile from Coleman with collaboration with Bellbond it's actually lightweight so yeah we'll actually be giving a black one because dad took the white one <laughs> well not similar exactly like this we'll be giving one away follow us on Instagram uh, subscribe to our channel we'll be choosing one lucky winner to have a tripod like this next we have this one of my favorite addition to my bag, Legion Go. We're actually making a video about this device, so if you want to see that, stay subscribed. And subscribe to this video if you, if you haven't already. Uh, this one is a... How do I explain? Basically, it's a gaming handheld, but it runs on Windows, so... You can actually work on this. It has this kickstand behind, so if I want to game on the go, I usually just bring this along. Battery life is quite decent. It lasts about two hours playing non-stop of Tekken 8. You can even use it as a tablet. As you can see, when you press this button behind, you can remove the controllers. And now it's just a tablet. You can also use it on portrait mode and do whatever you want. I can open Slack to check work, open a Chrome browser, so on and so forth. Um, I usually just play Magic the Gathering Arena here because it's fully touchscreen as well. Or watch some YouTube videos. Uh, for Netflix, it lasts about 6 hours and 37 minutes non-stop. So if you're just gonna use it to watch Netflix on a plane ride, it's probably gonna last you until you from Philippines to Tokyo. It's definitely enough. So yeah, that's the Legion Go. That is it for the middle compartment. You can see this pouch here, right here. Uh, this can be accessed at the top of the bag. And you just want to get something quick without opening the, the main compartments. So open this small pouch. And this is where I can get my AirPods Pro. And 
this microphone from Hollyland. So this one connects via lightning port. Just connect this to your phone or iPhone and clip one of the mics on you and you're ready to record. So normally the things I put on this pouch is the things I need to get quickly or right away. So these are for AirPods, microphone. I think the bag advertises this to put your like shades or glasses on this pouch because the, the interior is very smooth or somewhere you were you will actually put your glasses in. But yeah, I don't wear glasses. By the way, for the middle compartment here, you have an RFID safe section where you can put your passport, cards, or whatever. Uh, it'll be totally safe there. And it has another pouch here below. Actually, one I haven't used yet. It's expandable. That is it for the middle pouch. Next one, we have the last or the very back pouch. This one, I only have a notebook and a pen. Actually, no, I have my MacBook Air M2. This one is my daily driver for work. Uh, actually, both of these. So whenever I have my Mac, I know I can put notes inside the map, but I'd rather just write it because if I want to check my notes, I don't want to open my map. So just get the notebook, check what I've written. So this is the 15 inch MacBook Air M2. The battery life is superb. Screen size is big. Uh, I've up upgraded from the M1 MacBook Air. And when I saw this, I never want to go back. I'm actually thinking of getting the 16 inch MacBook Pro, but I only use Chrome for my work. So for now, when I do video edits, I use a desktop, but this one has no problem with it as well. What else do we have? Oh, remember I mentioned the cable before that leads to the lightning port here? This is the other side. It has this cable where you can plug your power bank in. When you plug your device at the other end, it will charge it. I'm not sure if this one goes beyond 5 watts, 5 volts, okay, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I haven't tried it yet since I don't have any power bank to test it with. So far, that is it for the bag. For pockets, normally I have this on the right side and my phone on the left side. So let's start with this one. This is um, a collaboration of Starbucks and Blackpink. It's a passport holder. Uh, this is where I have my passport three credit cards and some IDs here at the side. Uh, next, we have the phone. This is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm amazed with how Apple does their video capture. Anyway, video recorder. So we decided to actually use iPhones in most of our video shoots. So we actually purchased a specific microphone for it and the rest is history. So everyone in our group has an iPhone, yeah? You have an iPhone, I have an iPhone, yes. Ale has an iPhone, Jewel has an iPhone. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos about this Legion Go, we actually exported, rendered and exported a video of our trip to Japan. We will be posting that out soon. But yeah, we've actually exported a 4K video using this one. If you want to see that, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to see what's in Jazz's bag, we also have that video. We haven't edited it yet, so stay tuned for that. That is it for me. Again, this is Anthony from Freelancing Normies. See you on the next one.